Which one of you is the new Rachel? Well, I am. I am. I'd like to introduce you to our newest member, the MVP of last year's Nationals, Wade Unique Adams. That's a great haircut, Mercedes. I thought you graduated. So, how's Santana? She's good. She's just really busy with cheerleading practice, and it's hard making out of her Skype. You can't really scissor a webcam. Brittany, I'm sorry, but I want fair and square. You can't just decide not to sing anymore. We all need your voice. I had a song on my heart, Blaine Warbler, and you killed it. Now I have a dead song in my heart, and pretty soon the corpse of my dead heart song is going to start to smell. Okay, guys. I think being popular felt a little too good. We forgot ourselves. Well, I didn't. I was always popular, but I do forget to wear underwear sometimes. My name is Brittany S. Pierce, and I finally know how Jesus feels in his house way up at the North Pole, because I am on top of the world. Senior year was awesome, and now I get to relive every minute of it. I'm head Cheerio, Vice Rachel of the Glee Club, and now I'm planning a Middle East-style sham election that will install me as senior class president for life. Brittany, who are you talking to? I thought I was doing a voiceover. Okay. It was kind of a rough summer. I really miss Santana. But for now, all I have to say is... It's Brittany, bitch. F minus. You answered every question with See Other Side, where you composed an elaborate crayonscape entitled Happyville, the town where math was never invented. Yeah, that's me, and that's Santana, and that's Kurt and Rachel in heaven, and look, that's you. Brittany, you're a terrible role model for the Cheerios. Yesterday, I caught one of them trying to marry a squirrel. That's because I believe in marriage equality for all land mammals. Brittany, you're off the Cheerios. Tough love feels a lot like mean. I'm not speaking to you. I know you joined a gang. Sorry I'm late, someone stole my compass. I can't wear my Cheerios uniform anymore, so I got this outfit in the lost and found. Um, it looks like you might be feeling a little bit blue. That's okay, I started taking Lord Tubbington's pills for feline depression. Brittany, I, I think you and Emma should meet daily mm -hmm. for a while. Well thanks, but I don't really have any time. After school, I'm hopping into bed, eating cashews and bacon, and then watching the client list marathon. And with that, I said goodbye and swooped out the doorway, my voiceover continuing down the hallway. Okay, what was that? Kiki, why is everybody in the Glee Club staring at me? Because those fools are jealous. Who's Kiki? Kiki is Siri's super smart older cousin who's really jealous of how famous Siri's gotten. She lives inside the super cheap phone I found at the laundromat. Kiki, is it a good idea for me to lip sync at the pep assembly? It's not a good idea. It's a great idea. Can I get you another sit and turn? It's Britney, bitch. Barack Obama. Yes. Glenn Close. Ah, oh, good effort, Brit. Baby steps. Did you know that Franklin Roosevelt was part robot too, and he's on Mount Rushmore? No, he isn't. I mean, it's no secret that a woman loves a man in power, and don't take this personally, but before I graduate, I would like to have a relationship that lasts longer than a couple weeks. Why would I take that personally? You and I dated. We did? Excuse me? Yes, go ahead. Um, I'm not sure if what you're saying was actually important, because I wasn't listening, but I'd like to make an announcement. I'm wrapping up the election by selecting Artie as my running mate. Ah, oh, alright. I think by bridging the human slash robot divide, we'll ensure that both students and vending machines will be voting for us. Still not a robot. Brittany S. Pierce, how do you react to the characterization of your first term in office as one in which you didn't do anything at all until prom? I would describe that as entirely accurate. Okay. What is your favorite color? Filipino. They're very hard workers and family is very important to them. Sweet. Simple Brittany, what say you? Uh, I love you. 
I love you so much, McKinley High School. Simple as that. In fact, I think that everyone should love this school as much as I do. If you elect me as president, I promise to outlaw summer vacation so we'll have school all year round. That means we'll spend every day of every summer indoors with all our friends in McKinley High School's award-winning air conditioning. Also, I promise to end McKinley High School's policy of having weekends. If you make me your president, Saturday and Sunday will be illegal, so that Monday will come right after Friday, which is the funnest day anyways. Vote Brittany Nardi. Thank you so much. We just lost the election. Are there any healthy snacks? You can eat Kleenex, they taste like clouds. I'm really glad you came back to play Rizzo. I feel bad for Mercedes, but if her parents want her to be a boy, then I don't know, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Kiki, what do you think? I think I'm alive and you are the machine. And who exactly are you supposed to be? The bulge who makes gym socks disappear? Please don't melt us with your bulge. This is for you, from all of us. It's a superhero utility belt cleverly disguised as a fanny pack. There's some stuff in there we thought you could use. Ah, oh, cool. Uh... That's for me. You're welcome. Wade. Mercedes. Sashay. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. Mercedes was cloned. Now. Hi, Marley. Here's a Rolex. Merry Christmas. Hi, Ryder. Oh. Here's a three-week vacation to San Tropez. What? Enjoy. What's this? Those are the keys to your brand new 2013 Toyota Camry. Brittany, what are you doing? Um, well, last week I decided to watch a documentary about the mine apocalypse, which arrives on December 21st, 2012. So, I decided to cash in all my savings so my friends and I could enjoy what's left of our lives to the fullest. Enjoy. Merry Christmas, everybody. I can't believe how naive they are. I know. Some people just can't face the cold hard fact that this earth is really just the back of a giant crocodile that's destroyed and recreated every 500 years. Hey. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Um, my name is Brittany. I know. Okay. I just wasn't sure. We've never actually had a conversation before. Brittany S. Pierce has received a near-perfect 2340 on her exam. Wait, what? How? Clearly she cheated. No, I did not cheat. I swear. All I did was I filled in A for a while, and then C for a little bit, and then D, and then I did A again. And then I used the dots to draw a clown and then a penis. Yum. Don't worry. Okay, you don't need to go to college like the rest of us. You have a really great body. You could be a personal trainer. You could be a greeter at Abercrombie. You could be a greeter at Abercrombie's corporate headquarters. Whatever you want to do. But meanwhile, my future looks bright. I'm going to graduate. I'll go to Harvard or Princeton or Mitt or Stanford and Son or the University of California at Charles Barkley's house because evidently I'm one of the smartest people in America. So, here to demonstrate that elusive brilliance is a very special guest diva. Raven Simone. Sam and I are going to breadsticks tonight to pretend to be British. Do you want to come? No, thanks. You really mean. You tell Marley that she's fat, even though your face looks like a soccer ball, and we both know that blondes have magical powers, like doing splits or turning Swedish. Esteemed members of the Astronomy Club, I have an announcement. I have recently discovered that the Tubbington Bop is not an asteroid. It is a dead ladybug at the end of my telescope. And I've also discovered that my telescope is not a telescope. It is a Pringles can. Hallelujah, we're saved. Oh. Woo! Oh, it's good news, we're alive. No one in this musty choir room compares to my megawatt star power. Blaine, you're shorter than your average lawn gnome. Joe, you look like a Yucatan spider monkey. Tina is, you're just, you're okay, Tina. Baby, I love you, but you're really out of line here. And would you stop texting? I'm trying to talk to you, it's really rude. Did you seriously just break up with me by a text? <laughs> as fascinated as I am by your down-filled pillow soft lips that are ten times too big for your face, I really miss my sweet, sweet lady kisses. Sorry slash not sorry. Come in! I said come in! What the 
hell are you doing? I'm nailing my 95 thesis to the door. Your 95 what? There are 95 reasons why I'm quitting the Cheerios. Number one, it is true that members of the Cheerios received illegal salaries and kickbacks. Last year alone, I earned $5,000. Brittany, I thought that you were on Lesbian Island. No, I lost my passport and I was trapped in the airport like Tom Hanks in that movie. I'm sorry, are, are you an actual writer from a real life television network? Shup, 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 dead help. <laughs> I just say that you are a breath of fresh air and I love your pajamas. Don't steal my pajamas. Little mousies live in the pockets. Amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> and a kitty lives in my pants. <laughs> that was weird. That was uber weird. It is so wrong that we just slept together. Uber wrong. I'm gay and you're mostly lesbian, but, but here's what I'm thinking. I know what you're going to say. Okay, let's just say it at the same time at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's, let's keep, keep sleeping, sleeping together, together and start an art gallery, gallery in the performance, performance space downstairs. downstairs. Oh, mm. Like Rachel Berry, who never even knew any of our names. Oh, I know your name. It's Quinn. I'm Quinn. Hi, her. If you really want to get Blaine back, here's what you do. First, promise him you're going to burn all your clothing and then tell him you're going to start dressing like a normal person. Then, I think you should really start getting honest with him about following your life's ambition, which is becoming America's top Barbara Bush impersonator. That's not my life's ambition. <laughs> That's hilarious. I once told the guy I had three vaginas and he was pretty bummed when he found I only had two. I have a question. I would like to hire you to be Santana's and my wedding planner. For free. Okay. <sighs> I made a list of all the things that remind me of Santana because I thought one of them could be a great theme. Okay, what are they? Scissors. Mm-mm. Sweet lady kisses? No. Tuna. Mm. Lord Tubbington snuck that one in. Wait. I know who can officiate. Who? Bert. Who is? Bert Hummel. I, I, don't know, I don't know who that is. It's my dad. It's his dad. You're, yes. No peeking, Santana, because I don't want 9,000 years of bad luck. Wow. Okay. Wow, Brittany, you look so beautiful. Oh my god, what are you doing? I was going crazy back there, but you know what? Everybody's right. You look incredible. No, 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 you're not supposed to see the dress before the wedding. Oh my gosh, this is bad luck, Santana, bad luck. Hey guys, do you mind if I ritualistically slaughter this chicken? I want to counteract with the bad luck of Santana seeing me in my wedding dress. Oh my god, you are not slaughtering the chicken in here. Okay, Mercedes, I need you to find a spider because it's good luck to put a spider on your dress. Um, and Tina, I need you to find some wine glasses to smash like the Jews do because they have the best of luck. Oh, and um, Rachel, I need you to find me a lizard to cross my path. It, trust me, it's like witch's lore or something. Go! I need all the good luck I can get, okay? I don't want to end up like Jack and Rose. Santana, what are you doing here? This is like the ultimate bad luck. God, a bride cannot see her bride before the ceremony. Why are you trying to sabotage this wedding? Do you even know why a groom couldn't see the bride before the wedding? Cannibalism? No. A month long all expenses paid trip to the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. Oh my gosh, that's where no Wonder way. Woman was born. I know.